Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another video. I haven't done this in a minute, and man, I'm sitting down. It's first time doing this setup because, uh, well, I've been kneeing some corona zombies in the, in the throat, so I can't walk right now. But, nah, obviously that's not true, but my knee is for real messed up. And I gotta talk about this corona stuff because so many artists have been asking me about it. So many people have been asking me about it. How can I take advantage of corona? It's been interesting. I didn't expect that much of a situation or that many inquiries about it and that many people looking to take advantage of it. However, right, we can get to that after we just addressed business in general because I see so many people especially artists that I've dealt with say yo well in this meantime I'm gonna go get into stocks and short the market because all these stocks are dropping or I'm gonna get into this opportunity that opportunity all these opportunities real estate oh it sounds nice to buy real estate on discount all these different industries it sounds great except you might don't know what you're doing it doesn't make sense to go into a marketplace just because there's opportunity and then try to capitalize on it when you are not prepared. What do we talk about? Good luck being preparation meeting opportunity? Well, if you aren't prepared, you should have been studying five years to take advantage of stocks at this moment, right? You should have been studying three, four years already to even understand exactly how to pull the trigger when it comes to real estate and all these other types of markets, Bitcoin, Forex, whatever people are advertising there's an opportunity in, this is not your moment to jump in. This is just them selling whatever that they're selling, right? Because at the end of the day, the whole goal is to win. So you need to find out the categories, well, you should already know, the categories that you're an expert at, right? The things that you know well, and you need to find the opportunity within that so you're not learning from scratch. Because by the time you learn how to take advantage of some of this stuff and in a way where you wouldn't be losing, it'll be over already. So chill out on hopping into all these other new things, trying to make a quick buck. You're gonna lose your money and then you won't be able to invest in your career as an artist again. All right, it's gonna be another year before that video gets pushed and then it'll be outdated and you'll be moved on to another track that sounds better to you. We know how the cycle goes. So let's get that out the way. Stop trying to take advantage of opportunities that are not really opportunities. They're only opportunities for the people who understand and already have an in-depth knowledge in that particular space. Stay in your lane, capitalize in your lane, and then we can get into this part, right? It is a truth, a fact, right? And this might apply to you as an artist. Advertising is getting a huge budget cut, right? Uh, New York Post reported that there's been probably about $3 billion that they're projecting in terms of advertising budget loss, right? People are spending less and less money on advertising in this particular time because of all these things and related to Corona. Cool. That means in an auction-based system running Facebook, YouTube, whatever all these ad systems are that people are getting on, you'll be able to get good ads for less. So that's the opportunity. But again, right, if you're trying to run your music and run ads on people and try to capitalize on the opportunity of lower cost ads, that's still only relevant if you know what you're doing when it comes to ads. Some people don't know what it means to run ads. Yes, you could probably get into it and you might as well start that process anyway because it's worth it. But don't think just because there's a low, um, there's an opportunity for low cost ads that you'll be able to take advantage of it. Because influencers are, are struggling on TikTok, maybe, right? They might not be getting as many people inquiring about them. Don't think that you'll be able to completely take advantage if you still don't know how to judge what's right and what's wrong, what's good engagement, what's not engagement, and all the things in between. There's so much more nuance when it comes to TikTok influencers, but this is this video is not about that, right? So understand the spaces on opportunities because especially the, bat, the advertising budget, if you already have some lookalike audiences built up, if you've been running ads already, then it's a huge opportunity. Take advantage of that. 
right? Then we got something like this. Uh, the uh, Erica Badu did a quarantine concert series because her show got canceled, so she streamed live from her house. Right, that's, that's something I've been telling artists to do for years at this point. Like do these private shows that people can tune into. Well, hers is live, I believe, but doing private stream shows, at some point people are gonna listen and that's going to be a legitimate revenue stream for a lot of artists, a lot of influencers in general. If there's all these other sites when people do private experiences, explicit and not explicit, right? We are, people are already paying for private experiences online. Why not join that and do that as an influencer or an artist with some sort of public figure? It makes sense and it's a legitimate, uh, a legitimate revenue stream. So while there's more people at home, if you got a fan base already, then that's something that you can probably do. Harder to do that from scratch. Again, you have to be prepared for these opportunities. If not, observe everything that's going on, right? Observe the opportunities that are taking place. So then you can prepare yourself for the next time an opportunity like this happens because Trust me, there will be something at some point that some version of everybody's panicking or markets are low, economy isn't in the most ideal space, which will have the domino effects that'll allow you to take advantage of things. So learn, so next time instinctually, you can say, oh, I need to do that, I need to do that, I need to do that, because I couldn't do it last time. I couldn't buy houses on a discount in 2008 because I didn't have, you know, all the disposable income. But I recognized that there was an opportunity, so now next time there's a, a housing bubble, I'll have money in that opportunity, right? Like, it's, it's that type of thinking, but you can do that with your artistry, you can do that with everything. Stop, learn, the markets, Another thing that you can do is build deeper connections, right? Obviously, people are spending more time at home. People are not as engaged out in public and all that good stuff. So you can probably DM certain people. You, like people have more time to talk and things of that. This is one of those periods of time where you might as well try to build connections digitally. Right, or deepen some of the connections that you've probably been neglecting a little bit because you've been moving so much or you haven't been able to get in contact um, too frequently with because they've been moving too much. So that's another thing to consider. But let's, let's review this. I wanna keep it straight simple. One, don't try to go into something new and become an expert in, 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 into something when you're chasing an opportunity when it's too late already. You missed that opportunity, man. You missed that opportunity. There will be some people who are lucky, but you can't pay attention to those people who didn't know what they were doing, but they just got lucky because typically most of those people get thrashed, point blank. Number two, Advertising is an opportunity for anybody who hasn't really got into that. Uh, well, no, not for anybody who hasn't got into that. You should start learning it and doing that. But if you have been doing it already, if you've been running some ads, you start testing some ads and things like that on your profiles. If you start to pay TikTok influencers and IG influencers and start to understand a little bit how those landscapes make, it's probably time for you to start doubling down. Then of course you have unique experiences. People have time live experiences, uh, through pri live private experiences. And it doesn't have to be a show, by the way. You could do a live book club. You could do a live advice uh, sec uh, sector with your, ki with your uh, fans or whatever. You could do more gaming, right? Get on Twitch, do more gaming. There's so many opportunities and unique live experiences you can get into. Of course, you get on something like TikTok and have people, uh, you know, tipping money to you. And then last but not least, build some deeper connections in this extra time while you have more time and other people have more time. But don't, I repeat, don't fall into no foolishness trying to do a completely new strategy just because Corona's happened and you don't even have the resources foundation to really take advantage of it. It sounds good, but you're just gonna throw some money away. And for why? For the why? It's not worth it. Anyway, that's it for this video right here. I'm gonna probably do more of these sit down videos even when my knee feels better because I don't know, just different. I kind of like the vibes. But anyway, if you guys like this video, go ahead to like button. If you like it, might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, and one last thing. 
hit that notification bell too. Peace.